Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Soundwave with Ravage and Laserbeak. Now this right here is what I call a holy shit find. I went to my local Walmart today, a Walmart that has had nothing but Earthrise Wave 1 Deluxes for months. I go into the toy aisle and there is Soundwave just waiting for me on the shelf. And I actually said aloud, holy shit! and totally offended the family who was in the aisle with me. Fortunately, I had my plague mask on and I don't think they recognize me. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Soundwave right here in robot mode, along with Ravage and Laserbeak in cassette mode. He's in that white Transformers Netflix box. You got Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Netflix here. On the side, you got a really cool image of Soundwave. Back of the box, you see Soundwave in robot mode, Ravage in robot mode, cassette mode, Laserbeak, robot mode, cassette mode, and Soundwave as a tape deck. How cool is that? And here on the side of the box, you've got a black, white, and red image of the Earthrise artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Soundwave open and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Soundwave all ejected from his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions we've been getting lately, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. And these instructions cover Soundwave, Ravage, and Laserbeak. He also comes with all of his weaponry. His shoulder launcher comes already attached to the figure. He has his concussion blaster here and this weird pistol that he came with in his siege form. Now this pistol is actually a lighter color of the one that came with the siege figure. And of course he comes with Laserbeak and Ravage. Now let's take a closer look at Laserbeak and Ravage first. Now Ravage and Laserbeak here are retools of their siege figures and Ravage gets the most love out of the two. I absolutely love his new paint scheme on his now cassette mode. It looks much more like a cassette than the Siege version. Now my Siege version has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks and I had him upside down there to make him look more like a tape and originally there was nothing to it. He really didn't have any details whatsoever. This new Netflix Ravage looks great. It's got the fake spools right there in the center. Micro Cassette 60 Side A made in Japan, and you can kind of see the spools right there. I really like that. Gives him way more of a Generation 1 feel. Laserbeak, on the other hand, is basically exactly the same as the Siege version. Now, my Siege version, as you can tell, has been enhanced by Toy Hacks, but still, it's basically the same thing. Now, let's go ahead and get Ravage transformed into his Beast Mode. Now, Ravage is kind of a Weird transformation. I always get this kind of confused. You want to take the legs and unpeg those first. 
and get everything swung around. You're going to fold this section up and over, bringing this section down. Let's see. I actually cannot stand Ravage's transformation. Do not like the transformation of this figure. I don't know why. I didn't like the Siege version either. It's just very fiddly. Just get everything flipped around. Always want to turn everything the wrong way. This is not the best Ravage figure. Let me get in there and get, get his head out, which is also really hard to do. I probably should have done that first. There we go. Get the head flipped out, get the legs all positioned accordingly, and there we have Ravage in beast mode or his regular mode. Once again, great applications right there on the thighs. He's got the rocket launchers right there on top, but still, he doesn't really look like Ravage. He looks more like a bulldog. Now let's compare the Netflix Ravage with his Siege counterpart. The Netflix Ravage also has a new head sculpt. Let me get focused in. So here is Netflix Ravage compared to the Siege Ravage. Siege Ravage has red eyes and a closed mouth, where the Netflix Ravage has silver eyes and an open mouth. You can kind of see some molded in teeth there. So nice little difference, but still, this is not my favorite looking Ravage figure. Now let's go ahead and get the Netflix laser beak transformed. He's a lot simpler. You just fold the feet down, bring the wings out, flip the head up. You actually get your, let's see, get that head up. See, I spoke too soon. I just do not have the fingernails for this. All right, flip the head up and then flip this little section right here up and over. And there you have laser beak. And he looks really good. I love how this figure looks. I just really wish he had the cannons on his back. So now we'll compare Netflix Laserbeak to his Siege counterpart. Now, just like Ravage, Laserbeak has a brand new head sculpt. As you can see, Netflix Laserbeak is more G1 bird-like, where the Siege Laserbeak has that more of an angular head. And if you recall... This laser beak had the all yellow visor on his head. Mine, of course, has been enhanced thanks to toy hacks. Now, another toy hacks enhancement that I think I'm going to give this laser beak is these weapons right here that slide over top. And I think that helps out a lot. That looks really good on laser beak. So I think I'm going to give my new Netflix laser beak those cannons. And this guy's going to go back to his Cybertronian mode. I dig that. That looks really cool. So good job, Hasbro, on the head sculpts with these guys. A lot more G1 accurate, but still, you could have done better with Ravage. So now let's take a look at Soundwave. After I got Soundwave out of the packaging and in my hand, I discovered that this guy has a lot more retooling than I originally thought. When I first saw images of him online, I thought, okay, he's just a repaint of Siege Soundwave tweaked to transform into a tape deck. But I was wrong. There is a lot of new molding on this figure. But before we get into that, I want to show off the great light piping that this guy has. Netflix Soundwave has red eyes opposed to the Siege Soundwave's yellow. And check that out when you get a light overhead. That looks awesome. I love how that glows. <laughs> it is so cool. When this guy goes on my shelf, I've got to find a tap light or something to get directly under him to get that glowing eye effect. Now, Soundwave also comes with his launcher here up on his shoulder. This was attached to him in robot mode. This can pop right off, and he also comes with his concussion cannon. Now, both of these weapons are the exact same that came with the Siege figure. And if you remember, the concussion cannon, or excuse me, the launcher is on this little peg that can move up and down slightly. So we'll put the launcher back in his shoulder. We'll put the concussion cannon there in his hand. He also has this little pistol right here. And in the opening, I was wrong. The Netflix Soundwave has this dark gray pistol where the Siege Soundwave has the lighter gray. So my bad. 
And if you remember the gimmick with this thing is it would unfold like so, and you could attach weapons and things to it. But I'm not really a big fan of this pistol right here. So I'm going to attach it on Soundwave's back. He's got some ports right here. It actually goes in the middle. And there we go. Now we have Soundwave all armed and ready for battle. Now let's compare him to Siege Soundwave. So you can actually see the differences. And right off the bat, Netflix Soundwave is just a little shorter than Siege Soundwave. I looked at that over and over again just to make sure. And yeah, there is a definite height difference between the two. Other differences are the head sculpts. Take a look at those. Netflix Soundwave is more plain. It doesn't have all the details that the Siege Soundwave has. Check the mouth plate out, for example. The mouth plate has the ridges there at the bottom where the Netflix Soundwave does not. Siege has all the molded detail on the crest where the Netflix, once again, does not. Netflix is a lot more G1 cartoon accurate. Now, my Siege Soundwave has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals, but you still will notice the difference in the molding. Taking a look at the shoulders now. The shoulders are completely different, yet the forearms are the same. Now, what I don't get with the forearms is Netflix Soundwave still retains the landing gear from Siege Soundwave. You remember Siege Soundwave turned into a spaceship and uh, Netflix Soundwave has the landing gear. So yeah, there's that, but I guess, you know, you can flip that around and it is blast effect compatible. So maybe you can make it like a little extra weapon he has, or maybe like Robocop, he can plug into machines. So you got that. I wish they would have fixed it. It really doesn't make any sense for Netflix Soundwave. Now, another thing is the chest compartment, the chest door. I'm trying to look. I'm not sure if this is all clear and just painted or not. If so, it looks good. I like how it is painted completely gold, where Netflix, he's got the yellow paint job here, but I wish they painted these section down here at the bottom, the hinges, blue. It's clear and really, really stands out, and I really worry about clear plastic, especially on a joint or a hinge, and I'm really not a big fan of that. That should have been blue. Other differences here, let's see, we got the yellow striping on the Netflix sound wave, uh, moving down to the waist. Waist looks different, especially in the crotch area. The legs, upper legs are completely new or different. Or excuse me, yes, upper legs are new. Man, I'm getting confused, it's a terrible review, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, lower legs, completely different, brand new mold. And of course, the back of the figure is also new. Siege Soundwave had all that junk to turn into a spaceship where Netflix is all cleaned up, but he does have this butt skirt with buttons. So I guess it's a butt skirt. <laughs> oh, lame joke, I'm sorry. So yeah, he's got that right there. So that's pretty much all the differences between Netflix Soundwave and Siege Soundwave. Getting into the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, it can tilt left and right, do a complete 360. Arms can rotate, complete 360, they can go up and down. And they're on a really tight, I don't know what you call that, a locking joint, because it goes from here to here, and just kind of snaps in place, but the arms can go all the way up. There's an elbow bend, a double elbow bend actually, and an elbow rotation. No wrist swivel, but the wrist can go in and out due to transformation. Now, he also retains the little pointer finger, so it could look like he's ejecting one of his cassette minions. There is a waist rotation. The legs can go up and down. You will have to flip the front of the skirt to get a full rotation this way, and the back of the skirt to go back the other. There is also a knee bend and ankle tilt so lots of mobility and articulation for this guy god i love that i love that eye piping that looks so cool now let's get Soundwave transformed into his tape deck mode yes i'm finally saying that we're transforming a retail sound wave into tape deck mode we're going to remove the weaponry 
place that off to the side. We're going to remove this weapon here. And there is a panel right there. You want to flip down and flip the sound wave, sound wave's head down. Shut the door up. Take the fists. Fold those in. And go ahead and give the waist a 180. So you now have the buttons here on the front. You're going to take the arms and unpeg those or unpeg the shoulders from the main body and you'll rotate these all the way around and you want to take the forearms, flip them around so they line up to where this section right here will match up right there. You see the pegs and the slots? Get those lined up accordingly. Oops. Couple pegs I missed. You got pegs right here too. There's pegs all over this guy. You want to make sure and get in place. Slots right there. They'll match up with those pegs. Make sure and get those lined up first. Then peg in the forearms. Squeeze them together so they're nice and tight. So you've got that look going on now. Next up, we're going to take the legs and on the back of the figure, now the front, you're going to flip this section up here. Fold the feet in. Take these gray sections, bring those out, and up over the feet, snapping those in place. And now you're just going to rotate the legs around, bring them up. Once again, there is a peg right there that's going to match to that slot. Peg that in. Take the other side, get that pegged in as well. Squeeze them together, get them in there nice and tight. Take the buttons, the butt skirt, you're going to lift that up, and underneath here, these silver panels, you're going to bring these out, and there is slots right there that'll match up to those pegs. So get those pegged in, like so. And there you have Soundwave in his micro cassette mode, and I think that looks great. That is so 80s, so Generation 1. Now, back of the figure, this is where you're going to put the weaponry, once again, we'll put that blaster right there. It goes in the middle section. And his concussion blasters, you're going to take the concussion blaster and just fold that in like so. It'll go right here, right there on the arms. Or, yeah, right there on the back of the arms. Take the shoulder cannon, same thing. Make sure the flat end is on the bottom. So you have all the weaponry attached here on the back. And there you go. There is Soundwave in tape deck mode. Now, one issue with this, it's a little back heavy. See how it flops back? But I can live with that. That's no biggie whatsoever. Lots of great molded detail on this. I love the button. You got the play, the fast forward, the rewind, the record, the stop, the R, the L here, the little speakers record the battery life. There is a lot of great details and throwbacks to the original Generation 1 Soundwave. So now let's compare Netflix Soundwave with his Generation 1 counterpart. And yeah, that looks great. I can foresee some Toy Hex decals coming out to give uh, Netflix Soundwave a little bit of extra oomph, like especially with those red details right there. But I think that looks so good. Now, he does have these sections right here that kind of jut out to take away from the real boxy look of the original Generation 1 micro cassette recorder. But still, Netflix Soundwave kills it with this look. Big gap right there, though. Not a big fan of that, but it is what it is. Now, you can also take the cassettes, like Ravage here, and they will slide right into Soundwave's chest compartment. So you've got that going on. So there you go, guys. There is Transformers War for Cybertron Netflix Soundwave in his tape deck mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Soundwave with Ravage and Laserbeak with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Soundwave Ravage and Laserbeak, Siege Soundwave Ravage and Laserbeak, and Earthrise Megatron. The Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Soundwave with Ravage and Laserbeak 
is a fantastic set of figures. Even if you already own the three Siege versions, these retools are amazing. I was absolutely floored with how much retooling they did for Soundwave. Granted, the two smaller bots, Ravage and Laserbeak, it's really only head sculpts, but still, it makes a world of difference. Though, Ravage is still kinda lame. About the only nitpicks I do have with this set is if they were doing all these remolds, get rid of the landing gear. Totally not needed for this sound wave, and I really wish they painted those clear hinges on the door. But other than that, this guy is awesome. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Soundwave with Ravage and Laserbeak. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Soundwave with Laserbeak and Ravage belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is the Soundwave figure that we have waited years for. A retail release Soundwave that looks G1 accurate and transforms into the micro cassette recorder and Hasbro did a knockout job with this guy. And Laserbeak and Ravage, they're not too bad either. Though I really wish we get a buzzsaw. And how much do you want to bet that we're going to get a recolor of this figure right here as Sound Blaster with buzzsaw as another damn exclusive. So yeah, you see this guy on the shelf. You pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, I know a lot of you guys are upset because you haven't found this guy yet. He's just now hitting Walmarts. And you have to keep in mind, when the Netflix, Megatron, and Hotlink came out, you couldn't find those at first either. They're now shelf warming. So keep the hope alive, man. It's, it's Christmas. Tis the season of miracles. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help the channel, I offer YouTube memberships here on YouTube, and I now have a Patreon page. And I want to give a big shout out to my newest Patreon, Glenn Mizdal from Australia. Thanks so much for the support, Glenn. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!